Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. It is Mental Health Week, and as promised yesterday, uh, we were going to focus on mental health throughout the entire week, and today we're going to be talking about validation. I'm joined by Debbie Bullen. She is a so social worker, sorry, at, uh, at the Royal. Welcome, Debbie. Great, to, so great to have you here. Um, so, Debbie, how would you describe validation? What, what do we mean by validation exactly? Oh. So when we uh, use validation, what we're doing is we're acknowledging someone else's feelings, we're acknowledging the truth and what they're saying, and we're acknowledging their accomplishments, re regardless of how small they may be. Um, I think it's probably obvious to most, just uh, as you described it there, but, but so how does, it, um, how does it contribute then to, to healthy relationships, validation? Yeah, so the idea of validation, or the benefit of validation rather, is that it can bring someone closer to you. So when you're trying to reach a loved one um, and you, and you want to bring them closer, we use validation. It's also a way for us to keep our calm mm. when we're in a, a tense situation. So when we are uh, validating a loved one, especially a loved one who's struggling with mental health issues, it can get real, we can really get into the kind of, uh, you know what you should do? You should really take mm. your meds. Right. You want to feel better? You take your meds. And so we, and with the idea that we, we don't mean to be invalidating. Right. Uh, but we don't quite know what to say. So we want to reach for things that are validating, you know. So knowing that someone doesn't want to take their meds because of the side effects. I mean, who wants to take meds right. for the rest of their life? Nobody. Uh, nobody. Yeah. So, so we have to validate that, you know, that it, it's hard to take meds. You yeah, know? that you, we have an understanding, I yeah. guess, that, that that is. I'm just thinking about, you know, the caregiving dynamic mm -hmm. because, you know, we have an aging population. I, I can speak from from experience. You know, my father needs needs care, and I have, mm -hmm. you know, luckily we have just the most wonderful stepmother who who helps him through that. Um, but in that in that kind of situation, you know, especially when there's a cognitive issue, perhaps. Does that is that even more important? Because sometimes you know you can get into qu quite quite a bit of conflict with right. somebody. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Yes, and I actually work in geriatrics. Oh, okay. Okay. So we see this a lot, and we see this a lot with our caregivers burning out and and trying to uh, to care for their loved ones who do have a cognitive decline. So we always encourage uh, family members to find out what's true in what they're saying. You know, find out, like, for example, we run a, a day uh, hospital for our patients, and right. a lot of them, it's hard for them to come. Um, and it's out of their routine. So we acknowledge that it's difficult for them. You know, it's difficult for you to go. I see it's difficult for you to go. So how about um, we eat, I'll help you, we'll eat breakfast, and we'll talk about what, uh, what your concerns are. Right, and what's important to know about validation is often what we do with our loved ones is we try to go right into problem solving. Yes. And so once, so validation is kind of a, I like to think of it as um, an easier way to get into problem solving. Okay. So once we validate, we can we can have that conversation about problem solving. Uh, it's just easier yeah. to, to do. And it's not 100%, right? You, right, of course. Just because yeah. you validate doesn't mean you're going to get the response you want. The idea is that you continue to do it. And the idea is that you don't lose your cool, right? Right, right. You, so let, let maybe share some examples then of, of something that would be validating to somebody in a certain circumstance and then something that, that, that wouldn't be. Well, so for example, um, I, we need to go, uh, you need to go to the day program at the Royal. So I am saying, okay, it's, uh, it's time to go. You know, you're not feeling well, you've been depressed, so you really should go. I know, you know, and you're telling me, no, I don't want to go, I don't like it, uh, all we do is uh, sit around. Right, I don't need it. <laughs> I right? don't need yeah. it, I'm not like those other people. And so uh, we want to validate that, oh, it, it, it really must be hard for you. It sounds like you're, you don't feel like you're fitting in. You know, so we want to validate those feelings um, and, and with the idea that, okay, now we can problem solve on how to get you there. So invalidating would be, you know, you're not feeling well. You tell me you're not feeling well. So you should. You should go to this program. Right. You know, it's what you need. When we start using shoulds is when we're getting into that invalidating territory. So we want to be aware of those shoulds. Yeah, I'm just thinking too, you know, um 
there, there's a, the, the dynamic as well that you know uh, there's a lot of different people involved, right? Oh, let's yes. say let's yeah, say yeah. It's, it's it's family, mm -hmm. and 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 you've taken on you know, or I've taken on this approach of I'm going to be very validating, and you know, every time we have a discussion, I, I'm going to start using that approach. If others aren't, how do I? How would you approach them? in order to you know get on board of, of what, what you're trying to do you know the easiest way I think is to model it I see. right right because we don't you know it's hard to convince people to change their behaviors and to change uh, because a lot of people think well when I validate means I'm approving of this behavior and that's not what validation is right, right. Um, and so it, it's it can be difficult to get other people into this validating but when we model it and we do it people will will follow and it's we all do it first of all we do it everyone does it you do it here at of work course. you yeah. did it in the green room with everyone right? right so so we do it and we know how to do it it's to do it consistently and it's to do it with our loved ones who are so vulnerable when they're struggling with mental health issues yeah and I'm, I'm also thinking you know you be careful not to validate bad behavior right that, right I mean right, that's right, right, the right. other right. That, I guess that's the other tricky part right so we don't validate what's not valid right right so um, so we don't validate, you know, the, I'm going to use an extreme example just to make a okay, point, you sure. know, so, so someone goes and they steal, they steal a car because they need a car. Right. And, and, you know, so you don't validate, <laughs> you know, I get that you need a car, right? But we don't validate the stealing of the car. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, if you're hungry, we don't validate you, you know, shoplifting. And, right. I mean, that, on and I mean those are extreme go, examples, yeah, yeah. but to make on. the point. If somebody's yeah. watching today, you know, you mm -hmm. mentioned these day programs. How do they find out more information? What, what resources are available out there? So I work in a geriatric day hospital. So, um, I mean, you certainly can go to our website, you know, at the... Uh, the royal.ca and to get information around how to be referred to the day hospital. Right. The other thing that is really important to know is that we do have a family and caregiver group that we run um, uh, uh, every other Tuesday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, um, yeah, so and I'll send people to the website on sure. that. Thank you so Thank much. You. Really appreciate it, Debbie. We'll be right back after this.